Okay, I guess uh, that uh, kind of runs in the DNA of Mahindra. Okay. So if you start from uh, Mishtanan Mahindra, uh, he is handling obviously much more diverse portfolio than I am handling. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> the way he operates is uh, there's a certain structured way of expecting performance, expecting delivery. And then he gives it rest to the sector presidents. Okay. And come sector level, in a way the same thing continues because we also uh, at the beginning of the year set very clearly defined goals which are uh, sort of agreed to between the business heads and the sector president uh, and once that is done it really are the business heads who are running the business so it's not like day to day okay. the sector president is involved there are a lot of things that are happening which I have no knowledge of right now okay. uh, and uh, in the case of truck business for example Metal Meta is the person who responds for the delivery whether it is the volume or the investments or the profitability for the year all of those things okay. So I think, I think we have structured ourselves in a way that uh, uh, at my level, what I need to do, uh, I'm able to change my hat by the hour That's to, right. to kind of uh, focus from one business to other business. Uh, and I have very clearly defined metrics on what I'm looking at, what are my control points, what are my measure points, as it is said in the policy deployment that we do. Okay. And on that basis, then we're able to keep the focus on every business. Okay. It's not just number of different businesses, it's also size that is very different. The businesses that uh, we have in uh, AFS sector, which is say 20 crore business, and business 20,000 crore business. So how do you keep the focus on the 20 crore business as much as 20,000 crore business? Okay. 20 crore business, 1 lakh means a lot of money. That's right. Yeah. Uh, for 20,000 crore business, 1 lakh doesn't mean as much money. But you need to calibrate yourself okay. differently when you are discussing a 20,000 crore business versus a 100 crore business. So that's another change that happens. Okay. I think the important question that you ask is how do you maintain the passion? Absolutely. Right? And passion goes back to starting from the core purpose that we have for Mahindra Group, uh, which we have defined very carefully uh, about uh, driving positive change in the lives of people who uh, we touch, whether they are employees, whether they are customers or stakeholders, suppliers, investors, whoever. Uh, and any business that we are running and running has that element going across all the way through that how do we drive positive change in the lives of people that we are working with okay. and then everything that is coming under me in the AFS uh, has the has two threads that are going one is the automotive thread okay. and they have a passion for automotive business uh, which is different from any other business is is one sort of group okay. that binds together okay. and the other group is agriculture okay. where the passion is very different kind it's not so much about glamour, it's more about the, the, the contribution that we can make to uh, the farming community uh, by, uh, uh, as we have defined our BHAG, to be driving uh, farm to farm prosperity. Okay. So that's the group. So we basically, I'm basically working with two groups. Okay. And, okay. and those two groups have to keep separate, but once I have those two groups, I think it, it sort of goes very well. Okay. So Rana, I'm sure your camera is capturing it. Yeah. Uh, you look at the controls, um, very ergonomic. Uh, okay. You look at his visibility. Okay. Uh, you look at the windshield. Uh, the seat, the seat is uh, height adjustable, reclinable. Okay. Um, he can belt himself properly. There's good sound insulation. This whole cabin is sitting on a four mount suspension. Okay. So the jerks from the road are not really reaching him. Uh, the driver, uh, in fact, has these lockable compartments, you know, simple things. Okay. When he wants to go for a bath, where should he keep his wallet? Okay. Where should he keep his valuables when he wants to sleep? Okay. So these lockable compartments, uh, we have provided him. Okay. Look at this berth for sleeping. Okay. It's a full-size berth okay. for a full-grown man. True. See the upper berth, you know. Once again, uh, complete comfort has been given to him. 
okay. even things like this to keep his toll uh, purchase or some uh, immediate uh, requirements like a cigarette pack look at this 24 by 7 now uh, device for calling and the gps okay is very nicely integrated into the into the whole cabin in fact he can press a button and it will straight go to the call center okay and he can talk so the overall comfort now the biggest thing is there are two compartments okay uh, which are not visible here you know okay. he carries oil lubricants he carries some parts he also carries his atta dal chawal okay and bartans now these two things need to be separately kept yeah. you know so we got two compartments completely separated and when does he need them he needs them from outside the truck so these compartments are accessible from outside okay so these features that we have got you know they really give him lot of comfort and a lot of and also he can adjust the steering okay so driver comfort posture ergonomics backrest seat comfort sound insulation look at these two fans uh you know when it rains right yeah. you just have to close all the windows okay uh, you need some breeze to come to you yeah true so and not the water so uh, so you look at that so we have given so much comfort and statistics are not showing uh, that uh, the mahindra navisa truck in an average is driving 10 to 12 percent more uh, than uh, the trucks uh, which are being used earlier okay so the transporter is earning a lot more money and this 12 percent more running in a month uh, can almost lead to a free truck in three to four years Right now, we are focusing on the domestic market in a bigger way. Okay. Uh, to become a credible third player here okay. is extremely important to us before we, before we make such a huge uh, sort of foray into, into overseas. But we are looking at two markets right now uh, where we will, we will be focusing, which will be through Nelstar okay. uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a, the truck being exported from here, uh, where we will get our sort of, uh, so let's say, our feet wet on the export side okay. and then grow from there. I think the truck itself is a very good well proposition for Indian market okay. and for overseas market and there is not a single person who has anything negative to say about the truck that I have talked to. So we are very happy with the product, we just need to get more and more customers to buy it. Thank you so much. Okay, I think the rest of our visit, okay. your pressure is also important. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.